Welcome back to our continuing exploits on the Let's Defend platform. Today we are continuing where we left off from March 13th, SOC 138, Event ID 77, on to the following day, March 14th, 2021, 7.15pm. We are responding to a SOC 137 malicious file slash script download attempt. Event ID is 76. So it looks like we have a macro enabled doc file, whereas we were dealing with a macro enabled Excel spreadsheet file. So dot DOCM. So as per the normal, I'm going to grab the hash, dump it into virus total. I just refresh the scan results and this is roughly, this is what? I just set it the 14th, so give or take, a little bit less than a month difference. And we've only got a 29 out of 64 scan engine detection. But we are looking at, so let's see, some of the big ones. So Bitdefender picks up something, Amisoft, Nod, Semantic even picks up something, Sentinel-1, Kaspersky. Okay, so a lot of things pick this up as bad. No, at least he's good with that. Okay, close out some of the previous any.run results, and we will search the hash for any other submissions. We got March 13th, March 30th. Wow. From the 14th. Okay, well, what does the 13th look like? And while that's going, we will search for a new one underneath hybrid analysis. And we got something. And we got to submit a... Give me heavy anti-evasion. Run it all the way through. Give me script logging and route the sucker through Tor. Oh, yeah. Of course. Capture. Submit. Alright, so we'll get something run through for that. Alright, so we're just basically dealing with this. It looks like it is trying. Transfer dot or file transfer dot io slash package data dash package slash ur2 oopv slash download. Download string web client. Okay, so this was uh, yeah, in order to enable the macro, so it's obviously garbage. Okay, so if we look at it on the 30th, did anything change? Was there anything there? So we should get what? File transfer. I mean, it was able to actually respond back to something, right? Yeah. Except it makes no actual hits. It doesn't seem to dump anything either. So I guess if I take that, what about URL Hoss? Is this scene with anything in particular? So it's, it's the 30th, we get nothing else. So it definitely looks like it's malicious, we just do not have a sample that apparently grabs anything worth. Well, this looks like this finished and it did not find anything. Of course not. Okay, what about if we do something different? Um, we do a report search. Don't want to do file name. Hmm. Predict execution. Oh, that's not going to help me much. Okay, fine. Go back. 
Well, no legitimate document will do this. So, okay, what do we have then? Looks like Nicholas Prod. 172, 16, 17, 37. We will clear out the whoa, previous checks. Okay, we got something. No, we don't. These are all dated the 7th, not the 14th. So... Nicholas Pra, the IP address stays the same. Looks like this was March 7th. So, let's see... Looks like this is all January. Command history, we have the 7th. All this garbage. Third, no, that's the seventh again. Seventh, seventh, seventh. So nothing for the fourteenth. So this box looks like it would look looks like it was popped on the seventh. Agent error. Error. Hooray. Quarantine yourself. All right. So we've got confirmation there. But we do not have anything for the destination there. Okay. So we go back here. DNS requests. It pulled an IP for 104.21.13.139. Copy. We'll go back to log management. We will input that and we will remove nothing. All right. I think there might have been two IPs that were shown. 104 and looks like a 172.67.296. Okay, let's just be thorough. Nothing. Source address? Nada. Okay, fine. How about the 104 to see as to whether or not if there might have been any communication from inside to out? Nothing. All right, so we are not seeing any sort of hits. This was allowed. But we don't see any execution. We don't see any traffic either. Hmm. PowerShell, but we didn't get a sandbox report? Fresh. Oh, it's still in progress. Okay. That's fine. Well, I guess, I mean, we're already this far. Let's take a look at the other one that was dated for the 30th while we try to piece something together. I mean, the other aspect would be, too. What do we have here? Uh, bah, 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 bah. Behavior. Yes, we have the File transfer I.O. So we do see aspect for the PowerShell stuff that it wants to kick off. Files dropped. Okay, we're going to duplicate that. We're going to take the SHA-256 of the Nearsoft, and we're going to grab Ridge ASM, again the SHA-256, Web Browser Password Viewer, so something to go through, well, view doesn't necessarily, well, I think you can export from that too, Ridge ASM, not detected as malicious. Command net sh near soft ms build. Ah, yep. Exports it to browser dot text.
wonder if it's using the reg ASM to sit there and elevate privileges. Because it looks like it runs it twice. Looks like it outpour, uh, outputs to C users XXX app data roaming. Huh. I don't know, that's just theory, conjecture. We do not have apparently a build that gives us Jack. I was really hoping that this would have given us something. I don't want to reanalyze, I just want to take a look when this stuff is done. Okay, well, we have enough, I would say, to have without a shadow of a doubt that this is indeed malicious. I mean, a legitimate Word document is not going to sit there and, one, have a macro to kick off to fire off a PowerShell command. So, yeah, invoke file data. You know, it might be stupid, but... Can we go? We cannot go. Oh, because it's being blocked. Well, you know, I guess that would be a, a beneficial thing. Uh, okay, let's spit up. Open in a web browser, Firefox, route it through Tor. There, we'll go and run around this. And we'll see what shakes out. Now, coffee. Dark roast too, honey, baby. Go, sandbox, go! Only be downloaded with user... Really? Well, I'm definitely not going to sit there and get a premium account because I don't care enough. <laughs> I don't want to know that badly what was here. It kind of makes me wonder. It's just like, why? Huh. Okay, that's fine. Let's we'll stop. All right. So they put it up there expecting that just be able to pull it down for free then, I guess? Uh, somebody was probably not thinking this all the way through. Let's see. These are... Oh, these are both the 30s. Oh. Screw it all. Basically reaches out the same. Okay. So we have no evidence of any sort of communication out. But the file was allowed to go through. It was run, but no communication because we were not able to confirm anything on the 14th for Nicholas Prod. So, okay, let's go ahead and take ownership. I think we've done about as much investigation as we need. Did I copy? Yes, okay, I did start a notepad entry with my notes. So we don't have traffic. AV wasn't apparently. Nothing was configured, so other. Was it quarantined? It was not. It is indeed malicious. Okay, so we're going to have an MD5. We are going to end up with a URL address. Gonna end up with two IPs according to our sandbox run. So first things first, we need the MD5 of the Maldoc. URL.
Okay, and then we have two IPs for that file transfer that we pulled. So we go back to DNS requests, two IPs, which we already checked in log management. And this is what we had resolved for file transfer. There's much caffeine as I had. You think I could sit there and actually spell correctly? But I only speak two languages, English and bad English. Okay, 172, 67, 296. Done. Did anyone request? No. So it looks like it was on, or detected on Nicholas Prod, but it was not executed. That we can find any evidence for. And we will go ahead and finish this. Uh, doc M is indeed. And mail doc, no evidence of file being run. And let's see, this was a malicious file script, so this would be a true positive. Bing, bang, boom. We take a look at the 14th. Huh. Is it quarantined? Pretty sure I said no. Because the device action was allowed. So it wasn't quarantined or deleted. Okay, so I will probably have to roll back and open up a support portion. Or basically bring it to the team's attention. I don't necessarily agree with it, although I will play it back first, locally, just to make sure I didn't screw that portion up. But Okay, so there we go. That is our run-through of SOC 137, malicious file slash script download attempt, event ID 76 for March 14th, 2021, 7.15 p.m. Then the next in this sequence will be a high for March 15th. And then we'll have what? Three more high or three more for March 15th right after that. Yep. Yeah, and as we're going through, we're opening up more of the March 7th activity. So okay, I will see everybody when we pick this back up for the first of four. March 15th, 2021 events.